fam, how y'all doing? TM Nation, how y'all doing? For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Tecmo, welcome. I'm glad you stopped by. On the menu today, we have the Sound Peats Q True Wireless Earbuds, and before I pick these up, it had been quite a while since I checked out a Sound Peats pair of earbuds. I have to say though, when I was looking at these earbuds online, a few of the specs and features caught my eye, so I said, why don't I pick them up and see what's changed? Throughout this video, I'll give you all of the specs and features you need to be aware of in purchasing these earbuds. I also have a few tests for you guys so you have a better understanding of how they perform. I have my mic audio quality test with these earbuds for those of you that like to make a lot of voice calls with your earbuds. Followed by that, I threw in my water test for anybody that's considering picking these up for exercise. And last but not least, I threw my leakage test in there for anybody that's concerned about how well people around you will be able to hear what you're listening to. For the basic though as you saw in the intro you get pretty much everything you would need to get these earbuds up and running you get your user manual and documentation two different sized pair of ear tips so you can see which ones fit in your ears the best a usb type c cable to charge the case and of course your earbuds and the charging case the design of the case does feel sturdy in my hands and i don't think that'll have any issues keeping your earbuds safe i do want to note for you guys that the case is a little bit on the thick side but it's certainly not too large to throw in a normal sized pocket a purse, a book bag, or anything of that nature. One thing that I don't necessarily like about the design of this case is that you have to open up the top lid in order to access the LED light. As you can see there, there are no LED lights in the front of the case, which is what I prefer. But besides that, you don't really have too much going on on the outside of the case. You have your Soundpeats branding on the top and your USB Type-C charging port in the back. Battery life wise with these, you can expect to get about seven hours on a single charge, which is respectable. But if you use them with the case, you can get a total of up to 21 hours. One thing to note though with these earbuds is that they do feature quick charging. So if you throw the earbuds into the case for an hour and a half, they'll charge from completely dead to full. I'm also extremely happy to note that you do have wireless charging with the case. So if you have a Qi wireless charger, you can sit the case on it and it'll start charging automatically. But of course, for you old school folks out there, if you don't have a wireless charger or you just want to use a USB type C cable, you can charge it that way as well. Moving on to the design of the earbuds, they do look nice in my opinion. Like I always say, I prefer earbuds that do not have the stems attached, but these are fine in my opinion. The stems aren't too long or too short, which makes them perfect for putting them in and taking them out of your ears. If being discreet is your thing, they do stick out some, but they don't stick out much at all. Wearing these, I found that if somebody is standing directly in front of you or behind you, they'll see them slightly, but they're not super obvious. These earbuds are also extremely comfortable in my ears. I've worn them for a few hours at a time and I never got any ear fatigue or anything of that nature. Also, the way that these earbuds are designed will give you some nice passive noise canceling if you have the correct sized ear tips installed. They are not using active noise canceling technology, but like I said, the way that they're designed does a pretty good job of eliminating some of your ambient noise. The way that they fit down into your ears also does a pretty good job of pushing whatever you're listening listening to directly down into them. Now I'm not going to say that they're perfect and they don't leak any sound because they do leak some, but comparing the leakage that you'll get with these earbuds, I'll say that it's not really that bad in comparison to other true wireless earbuds I've tried on the channel. I'd say that it's medium to low, but as always, I did take a sample for you guys to judge for yourselves. Let's take a listen. For those of you that are considering picking these up for exercise, I will say that they did a pretty good job of staying in place even when I became sweaty. For a pair of earbuds that do not have any ear hooks, they stayed in place pretty much throughout all of my workouts. I did have to reposition them while I was jumping rope, but outside of that, they did great. These are also IPX5 rated, so that's also perfect for exercising. Splashes of water or sweat will not harm them. I did do my water test by spraying water all around the earbuds just to see how they would react while being wet. They worked fine without an issue. Let's take a look.
For the Bluetooth version, these are using 5.0, which is not the latest or greatest, but it still works fine, in my opinion. Pairing these earbuds to pretty much any Bluetooth enabled device is a breeze. All that you have to do is take them out of the case. They'll automatically go into pairing mode. Once you've taken those steps, you'll see the flashing lights on the earbuds, letting you know you're good to find them on your device connect to them and you're good to go. Another nice feature that you have with these earbuds is you can use either earbud in mono mode, which is always nice. They don't have you locked into using the left or the right. The connection with these earbuds has also been fine. I haven't noticed any lag using either my iPhone 12 Pro or my Galaxy S21. I have watched quite a few YouTube videos on both of those devices and everything seemed to be pretty synced up. No issues. As for playback controls, these are gonna give you touch controls and so far they've been really accurate for me. I haven't had any issues with them picking up my feedback. I'm also happy to report that you have all of your playback controls with these earbuds. You can control your calls, your tracks, your volume, and your voice assistant. Having all of your playback controls is always a plus for me. I don't like to give up volume or track forward or track back, so kudos to Sound Pizza on that. I appreciate it. All right guys, so now that I have all of the specs and the features out of the way, let me touch on the sound quality that you'll get with these earbuds because these really impressed me. Now I do own several pairs of Sound Pete's earbuds, so I kind of had an idea of what to expect but these really exceeded my expectations. I really like the way that these are tuned because the highs and mids come through crisp and clear, the vocals are loud and clear, but those background instruments are also there as well. The bass that you get with these is also really impressive. If you listen to anything with a nice bass line, you will feel it with these. One thing that I do wanna say about the sound that you'll get with these earbuds is that the output is pretty loud. That being said, if you're a part of the Too Loud gang, these will certainly get to that level for you, but at max volume, they can get harsh. Now, the distortion certainly isn't terrible at max volume, but in my opinion, you'll get the clearest sound at about 75%. Another area that these earbuds impress me in is in the call quality. Now, these earbuds do use four mics for voice calls, and I think that they do a really good job. I've made several voice calls using the earbuds and nobody complained about how I sounded, but I did take a sample for you guys to judge for yourselves. Let's take a listen. All right, TM Nation. So right now I have the earbuds paired to my iPhone 12 Pro. As you can see right now, the audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on these earbuds. Now I'm not gonna do any type of editing to this audio. So this more or less should give you a pretty good idea of how these perform for voice calls. So taking everything into consideration, guys, these are a nice choice for 35 bucks. I mean, the 30 to $50 range in terms of earbuds is really competitive. But with these earbuds in particular, you're getting wireless charging, you're getting good call quality, good audio quality, and you also have respectable battery life. You have made it this far in the video, guys. If you haven't dropped a like on it already, please do so. It really helps the channel grow, and I appreciate it. If this was your first time here, why don't you consider subscribing as I drop at least one video on content just like this per week. But like I always say, y'all be safe, y'all stay positive, and most importantly, y'all have a great day. I will catch y'all in the next one, but until then, it's your boy Tecmo, and I'm out. Peace.